Hi right, everybody, welcome back to the Pixar Cars Thomas and Friends fan channel. It's a busy day at the Sodor Steamworks. Salty is next in line to get his engine work done. Look, he's hanging in the air by the crane. And there's Diesel 10 just leaving the, uh, the Sodor Steamworks now. Mr. Topham Hat is watching all the action going on here. And look over here, we have the mechanic is just about ready to start working on Dirty Diesel. And over here we have, oh, is that Harvey the Crane leaving town too? And there's Bullstrode, and there's the helicopter, Harold the helicopter. Now let's see what's going on on the other side today. Oh, we see Thomas just coming in. And there's the flower car, half full. And look, there's Cranky the Crane putting a load. It looks like butter onto Bullstrode. That's right, they're exporting a load of butter for some cookies, I guess. And there's the empty box car. Now let's go back and see Thomas. He doesn't look very good today. What's wrong, Thomas? The sensor top him hat. I just don't feel like myself today, sir, said Thomas. There's something wrong with my firebox. It's all clogged up or something. Just then, Toby puffed up. That's right, sir. He's been acting strange all day and all kinds of smoke coming from a smokestack. Oh my goodness, said Sir Topham Hatt. I think I know what's wrong. I think your firebox is clogged up. You need a special blend of fuel to clean that out. Let me call up my friends in Radiator Springs to see if Fillmore is available. Oh yes, said Thomas. Fillmore. He makes a special blend of fuel to clean engines out. But what would happen if I take that in my engine? We don't know, said Sir Topham Hatt. We'll have to try it and find out. Let me call the VA Cafe and find out. Meanwhile, over in Radiator Springs, all the cars are cruising down the main street like they always do. Luigi and Guido are cleaning up their shop. They just finished changing tires on a car. And there's Ramon sporting his brand new shocks. And look, here comes, looks like, Sarge and Fillmore heading into Radiator Springs. And there, of course, is Sally and Lightning hanging around. And there's the uh, Pizza Planet delivery truck with John Lasseter. Now let's see what else is going on. Suddenly, the phone rings at Radiator Springs. Who could that be, said Flo. Just one second, everybody. So Flo answers the only phone in Radiator Springs, and it's her old friend, Sir Topham Hat. Oh, hi, Sir Topham Hat. What can I do for you, said Flo. I'd like to speak to Fillmore, please. He makes special blend fuel that might help Thomas the train. There's a lot of bad smoke coming from his engine. Just a moment, said Flo. I'll get Fillmore now. Fillmore, you weren't on the phone. I'm coming, said Fillmore. Here I come. All the cars gathered around to watch, because it's not very often if Fillmore gets a phone call, and Sir Topham Hat. They can't believe it. Uh, what can I do for you, Sir Topham Hatt? Said Fillmore. You want some special blend? Yes, said Sir Topham Hatt. I have to send Thomas to your town, and maybe you can fix him up. I'll mix up a special blend just for him, said Fillmore. Send him over now. We'll be waiting for him. Okay, I'll send him now. Thomas, you take Bolstro over to Radiator Springs and get yourself cleaned out. Okay, said Thomas. I'll go now. Cranky had another job now. He had to put Thomas on Bolstro. Hang on, Thomas. You're quite heavy, but I know I can lift you into the back of Bullstrode. Here goes. Before he knew it, Thomas was on the back of Bullstrode and ready to go. Thanks, everybody, said Thomas. I'll be back soon. And off he went to Radiator Springs. Before he knew it, Thomas made his way into Radiator Springs on the hidden railroad track. It's very rarely used. And he goes right to downtown Radiator Springs. Here he comes now, everybody. It was quite an event. Thomas chuffed into town. Where's Fillmore? Oh, there you are, Fillmore. I want some of that special blend. All right, said Fillmore. I got it all mixed up for you. All the cars gathered around to watch. I'll get up on the track, too, he said, and pour it in your engine. Here goes. Fillmore poured the whole thing into Thomas's boiler. All the special blend. Okay, that shouldn't take long to start acting up, so you should notice the difference right away. Whoa, I can feel it now, said Thomas. What's happening to me? Thomas, are you okay? You're getting awful big. What's going on? Oh, I feel like I'm growing. Oh, I can't fit on the tracks anymore. What's happening? All the cars rushed out of the way. Even Fillmore backed up. Oh no, I feel like I'm still growing, he said. Next thing you know, Thomas was ten times its normal size. Help me, help me. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. I, my engine feels good, but uh, I'm too big. Oh no, they said. Fillmore said, oh man, I must have gave you too much of the growth serum. Oh, Fillmore, said Doc. Sheriff's hiding over here, and look at Guido. On top of Red, he's safe there. Okay, said Fillmore, we got a little problem. I'll mix up another batch, and we'll fix you up. Fillmore was gone to a shop for half an hour, 
And when he came back, he had a new blend. Try this, Thomas, said Fillmore. It might straighten you out. Okay, he said. I have a hard job getting it up there. Hang on. And they all struggled, and they poured the entire batch into Thomas's boiler. Oh, that feels good, said Thomas. Oh, my goodness. I feel like I'm starting to shrink. Much better, he said, but I still can't go on my track. Uh-oh, I'm getting smaller again, he said. Before you knew it, Thomas was right back to his normal size again. And I feel great, he said. My engine is working perfect. I can go as fast as I want. Sorry, man, said Fillmore. I must have made a mistake with that first batch. I hope you're okay now. Oh, I feel great, said Thomas. All the cars rushed back over to see Thomas. He was okay again. He wasn't gigantic. Even Mater was there. Hi, Thomas, I'm Mater. I can't wait to see you again. Make sure you come back again. I have to go, said Thomas. Sir Topham has it waiting for me. I have things to do. Goodbye, everybody. So Thomas chuffed away on the track and he went back to Bulstrode and made his way back to the port. Thomas began blowing his whistle on his way out at sea. All the trains and Sir Topham Hat rushed over to meet Thomas. I'm coming in, said Thomas. Make room. And just into the dock he came. Frankie picked him up and put him back on the tracks. How do you feel, said Sir Topham Hat? I feel fantastic, said Thomas. That special blend Fillmore made cleaned me right out and I feel like a million dollars. Except for that one incident where I became gigantic. You what? Became gigantic? Now that's another story, said Thomas. Don't worry about it. And Toby was happy to have his friend back. And Thomas was set up for work the very next day. Thanks for watching, folks. I hope you liked the video of Thomas and Friends and Pixar Cars and Fillmore Special Blend Fixing Thomas. Have a great day, everybody.